Merry Christmas, I'm Jack from Twinkle, and in today's video I've got six Christmas games you can play over this festive season, plus some ideas from the Twinkle website. This first game is based off a childhood memory of mine, of sitting under the Christmas tree and feeling my presence, trying to guess what I was getting for Christmas. To play this game, firstly you'll need a suitably Christmassy way to conceal some items. This could be in the form of a Christmas stocking, it could be a sack, or it could be some Christmas wrapping paper to actually wrap the items. After concealing these household items, the object of the game is for your children to guess what items are concealed in the stocking, sack or present by feeling them. So you could get items like a hairbrush, some keys, a whisk, a video game controller, a light bulb, a watch, and so on. Place these items and more in the stocking, the sack, or wrap these items as presents, and see if your children can guess what they can feel. You could also try this with Christmas themed items, like a bauble, a Christmas tree topper like a star, or a candy cane. In this next game, have your children wear a pair of mittens to make a usually simple task very tricky under a time limit. If you don't have mittens, like me, instead use a pair of socks. Christmas themed socks are best, just make sure they're clean. But what sort of tasks can you do? Well, in this example, how many sweets can your child unwrap in 60 seconds? Get some sweets from a Christmas selection box, then time them. How many can they open and can they set a new high score? This game obviously comes with the bonus of a tasty treat afterwards. Next up is technically two games in one. Start off by getting some white paper cups. These will form the basis for your snowmen. Draw a design onto these cups, or use some other materials like coloured paper or card to make these snowmen come alive. Stack these cups into a small tower, with the bottoms of the cup facing upwards. Grab your snowball of choice. In my case, I'm using a rolled up pair of white socks. Have your child stand back and launch the snowball at the snowmen. Too easy? Why not have your child stand further back, or use a smaller snowball? You could also set the cups out in a bowling formation and use bowling points to score the game. As mentioned, this is two games in one, simply by turning the cups the right way up. On the other side of the cups, try drawing a different design like a reindeer or Santa. And then arrange the cups like so, with the tops of the cup facing upwards. Our projectile of choice this time are some bells. How many bells can your child get in the cups? In different cups, you could drop in some sweets from the game we played earlier, adding some secret sweet prizes to the game. For this game, start by writing or preparing a small paragraph. In this example, we'll be using a letter to Santa written by a child, telling Santa how well behaved they've been this year and what presents they would like. Then, delete some words from the paragraph you've written. Find a few nouns and take them out and create a gap. Find a few adjectives and verbs, take them out to create a gap. Maybe take out the name of a relative or a toy, and so on. Then, you need to ask your child or children for some new words to fill these gaps. Can they name some nouns, some adjectives, some verbs, or whatever sort of words that you need to complete the letter again? Of course, do not show them the letter that they're helping to fill in, as that will be a surprise for the end of the game. Okay, I'd like an adjective. Hairy. Okay, uh, what about uh, a noun? Tortoise, sure. And what about a relative? 
Grandad. Another noun, please. Spaghetti. Okay. Collect enough words of each sort to fill in the blanks. Once the letter has been completed once more, read this aloud. Often to hilarious results. You can play this game with different texts. You could try using a Christmas carol, or a well-known Christmas story, or something similar. It could be that you take Jingle Bells or the 12 Days of Christmas and make your own personal Christmas carol. Lots of other classic children's party games can easily be converted into Christmas games. Simon Says can easily become Santa Says with some Christmas themed actions. Santa Says eat the mince pie. Charades is always popular at Christmas as you try and get your family and friends to guess the book, song, movie or TV show just by using actions. Musical statues or musical snowmen and a Christmas themed pass the parcel are great games to play with a larger group of children. Or try a Christmas game of What Am I? Stick a name of a Christmas person or thing to everyone's forehead and have them ask questions that you can only answer with yes or no to help them figure out what Christmas item or person they are. The Twinkle website also has loads of other games you could play. Try a Christmas themed maths mystery, like this one for Lower Key Stage 2 children to help solve who ate Mrs Claus's Christmas cake. Your children can help uncover the Christmas cracker jokes by using their spelling, punctuation and grammar knowledge. These Christmas party games cards have a wide range of further ideas for games to play this Christmas. And these Christmas quiz powerpoints are a great way to test your children's festive knowledge. Thank you for watching. I hope you have lots of fun playing these games this Christmas. If you found this video useful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 YouTube channel. Merry Christmas!